Happy Thursday, everyone. How are you doing? Hopefully good. How's your week going? I'm hoping for a, a good week for everyone. Um, I want to talk about a few things today. Quite a, quite a few different uh, topics, actually. A friend of ours was nice enough to loan me uh, this uh, tarot kit that I thought was so interesting. And while I'm not going to read from them, because, you know, they're his and I don't want to mess with his juju or anything. But I wanted to show you these um, cards because I thought they were so cool. And I may get a deck like them myself. I forget how this opens. <laughs> oh, there it is. A little magnetic flip on it. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'll just put it over here. This is kind of a dead space. Because my desk, you would not believe how much stuff is on my desk. Well, it has a, it comes with a tarot journal, which I thought was kind of cool. Oops. Now there's his uh, tarot reading book. I thought this was kind of neat, a little quick uh, reminder, a little quick reminder of what uh, what the cards stand for, and it's on both sides. Ah. Here's the types of spread you can do, a little mat you can put down and... Uh, Tells you how to lay out stuff. Um, now it comes with these cards. And I believe, yes. This deck, I already have. This is the Rider Weight Tarot deck. But these are really tiny. My deck. I got a bigger deck than he does. Because... <laughs> There's my deck of the same type, and you can see it's uh, much, much smaller. <laughs> A funny thing to even uh, be talking about. I... But I enjoy having a bigger deck. <laughs> Because, uh, frankly, you know, they're, I, they're a little clumsy to work with, but they're, I like the, the artwork on them and stuff, and they're easier to see. Anyway, now that you all have maybe had a chuckle for the day, <laughs> here's the deck I wanted to show you. And this is the uh, Crowley Thoth Tarot. They got based on the Egyptian uh, god Thoth. Now, sorry that they're so small. There's the backs on them. That's what all the backs look like. And, uh, well, I, I don't have these in any particular order or anything, but, uh, There's just some of the artwork on them. Um, there's the Hanged Man. Oh. And there's Death. Very creepy ones. I just wanted to show you all a couple of the couple of the ones just to see and I'd, I'd like to have this deck but uh, well maybe a little bit bigger but uh, <laughs> here's another one but yeah I won't bore you with the whole deck some of you might appreciate uh, seeing them but uh, 
maybe I'll take some pictures or something and put them up on our uh, Facebook group page. Anyway, I thought that was so cool, and I just wanted to uh, share those with you. But like I said, I'm, I'm not going to do any readings. It's too late in the day to uh, give a, a daily reading. I've been at my doctor's most of the morning and stuff, and I found out it's, it kind of bums me out. Um, see, I was sick all part of September and all the complete month of October, you know, I got sick, my birthday was on the 30th of September, and I got sick the 1st of October, and it continued on until I finally went to the hospital on October 31st, Halloween, and then they, they gave me a, a medicine called Reglan, a massive dose of it, and I was supposed to take it every 10 days. Well, the doctor that had prescribed it for me, which I saw today, informed me today that he can't prescribe it to me anymore because it's known to, ca to cause Parkinson's disease. And here I am on major doses of it. So now it's like, I know as soon as I go off of it, I'll probably end up getting sick to my stomach again. I'm really worried about that. And I, I have an appointment coming up sometime with a gastroenterologist, but I haven't heard anything about it yet. My doctor was supposed to make that appointment, and they still haven't called me back. And I'm so scared it's going to be, you know, January or February or something like that before they can get me in. Well, I'll stop by Walmart on the way back, and I want to show you what... Uh, what I got there. And I'll save you with uh, the meteorological events uh, for a little bit later. But you uh, need to stick around to, to hear what's going on. Because it is kind of uh, spooky. but uh, And I know you're dying to hear it. But uh, I'm saving the best for last. Now, this a, it's a little late for this, but I picked up some bulbs, and there's just certain types that you can do this with. But, and I'll show you what these are here in a second. I'll go over all of them. I just wanted to get them all here. Um, and these aren't all. I'm going to still get some paper whites. But these are hyacinths. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do with them here in a little bit. Some of you probably already do this, but uh, some of you don't. But you can get these at uh, at Walmart or anywhere, just about. I don't know how you pronounce this. Uh, Chionodoxa. Chionodoxa. I've never heard of these. They're called Glory of the Snow. And I know them by that name, but I've never heard that uh, official name of them. And these are your crocuses. And now what, what I'm going to do, and I might do a video showing how, how you do it and the steps in doing it, but I'm going to force these bulbs. Uh, I believe they all take like 10 to 12 weeks uh, to to force them but what you do you put them in your dish and you put the uh, stones it could be those uh glass stones you get in the bags like at the dollar stores and stuff or craft stores you can get a, a nice size bag of them actually but the clear glass uh little stones they're like um and you put them in a bowl and you put the bulbs in there with them and stick them in a uh, shelf in your refrigerator. My bottom shelf's never used hardly. So I'm going to set them down in there for about 10 weeks. And I'm really starting this too late in the year. You should have done it by like October, mid-October. But I was so sick uh, last month that I didn't have a chance. But uh, another type is paper white uh, narcissus, daffodils. 
uh, you can force those. You don't have to put them in your refrigerator. And I think they they bloom within like two weeks to a month. I'm trying to get my hands on some of those. The, the paper whites, I'll tell you, though, the smell on them is eh, not that great. But they are nice to have, you know, especially if you can get them to go to uh, grow at Christmas time. These won't be ready, I figure, until January. But still, you know, having blooms in the house in January uh, isn't bad. You just you, you uh, put them in the, the containers, put them in your fridge, and then uh, I'll tell you more about it, you know, if I do a video on it, and I probably will. But I just wanted to show you these. I'm really excited about this because, you know, you force them, and then after you're done... I think you can just plant them in the ground outside. I don't think you can force them twice. I'd heard that before, but I'll have to double check that. Okay, Sherry Knotts, if you are listening to this, turn off your speaker, plug your ears. I'm talking about Al Gold. <laughs> okay? I'll wave my hands like this, Sherry, when I'm done talking about Al Gold, okay? Because <laughs> I know I know how, you know, you don't really want to hear about that, and now it's kind of scary to you. So, and it's probably scary to a lot of people. But, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do, let you know about that. Okay. Now, drum roll. Tonight. Al Gore arrives. Not Al Gore, Al Gore. And the name Al Gore comes from the Arabic word meaning head of the ogre or basically demon. And in the English translation, it becomes demon star with other names being Satan's head or the specter's head. In the Chinese, it belongs to a group of stars called the mausoleum, <laughs> of all things. Um, so, yes, everybody across cultures seems to have a, a, an issue with this star, and it is appearing tonight at the time of the lunar eclipse, which is going to magnify its effects and i really don't mean to scare anyone but uh yeah sorry to tell you just be warned beware try to avoid any accidents at all costs you know wear a rubber suit if you have to <laughs> and a and a helmet but uh, yes just take extra care so it's going to be a tough time coming up and uh i'm seeing signs of it you know uh what i had said before uh there is an earthquake in missouri uh recently uh within the past day i'm thinking or so i didn't see exactly when i just saw a flash of it on the news and uh, it said they had an earthquake and now uh like uh, I had said before, COVID is on the increase again, I'm sorry to say. Um, so the, the signs of it are starting to come out. And it's supposed to last. It's a very uh, bad star. It's a very bad omen, bad luck. And it's aligning with the lunar eclipse tonight. Well, actually, it's tomorrow, but uh, it's in the wee hours of the night. Uh, it's here on the East Coast. I believe you can start seeing it about 3.57, almost 4 o'clock. I'm on the East Coast of the U.S. On the West Coast, I believe it's 12.47 in the a.m. starting tomorrow. So you'll uh, you'll see it then. And then in Australia, in Sydney, Australia, I think it's uh, 
57 or 757. I'm not sure. You all would have to check if you live in Australia. But it's in the your morning or evening. I'm not sure how that works. But <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so be looking for that. I'm, I might try to stay up tonight or get up early to... Uh, to try to maybe tape it as the uh, the lunar eclipse begins and during the whole thing. Someone said it's supposed to last for four hours, I heard. I don't know know about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to film it. Oh, Sherry. Good news, though. You know, if, if you believe in it, you know, this is a symbol for good luck during this time period to fight off, you know, the effects of Al Ghul. And like I said, it's not Al Gore, it's Al Ghul. But this symbol, if, if you can copy this, it looks like a key. And what you do is you copy this. You wear it on you at all times, you know, like in your pocket, under your pillow when you sleep, you know. And this, this effect is supposed to last until the, the solar eclipse, which I believe is on December 3rd. Copy this, wear it on you somehow in your on your possession, and uh, it's, it's a protection symbol. What this is an image of, it's supposed to represent uh, a human being with their head cut off at the neck. I, uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to be here or something. I, I don't know. Um, but even though it sounds bad, um, it gives success to uh, the wearer. Uh, it makes the wearer bold and magnanimous. It preserves the body, protects against witchcraft, and turns evil and spells back upon those who work them. Okay. Now, this a symbol associated with Algol is diamonds, the plant, uh, black hellebore, which is like a, a Lenten rose, if you're familiar with them. In the north, it's like one of the very first things that bloom. And some types bloom like over the winter even. They can have snow on them and they'll be blooming up a storm. So I, I love those. They're, they're pretty. And uh, also the plant mugwort. And I'm not really familiar with that one. So you have to look that up. But that's all I wanted to talk about today. So uh, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow reading cards. So uh, blessings be to you all during this time, especially uh, extra prayers for everybody's safety. Um, and I don't, I don't mean to scare anyone. Anyway. Peace, and until tomorrow, where I will hopefully have a reading, bye-bye. Oh, I lost it.